Welcome back, everyone, to TNO, the last news of the year. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we are currently at war with Kazakhstan, but I don't think they're going to do very well against us. But last time, we united both, both basically, the Soslov Komi communist nation and ourselves together, and we did it peacefully, so which is really, really awesome. Uh, currently doing a foundation for research. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Oh, so from right now, probably, whenever we get to the Atomic Age focus and Chase the Sun focuses and all the focuses in here, I'll probably just go ahead and just like show you guys what if you want to read it, because I've read this like seven, eight times already, so I'm kind of done reading it, but if you like to read about them, please go right ahead. It is what it is. And, uh, let's see, uh, let's double check, I just got double check, I had a cat come in my room. So, Chase the Sun, Foundation for Research, cool. So, let's let time go on and kill these guys off, but we do have a couple comments to go through. Uh, I, I, well, first I should say this. Yesterday I said that the five-year plan is garbage, or something alluding to that. And it mostly is, but the most important one, the, the redeeming factor here in the five-year plan is resettle rural populations. This one is the only one that you really, 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 really want to use, at least from what I understand. Because you get less consumer goods, you get more construction speed, which we've taken before, but it increases agricultural strain severely, so be it. This one is really good to get, at least from my understanding, from what people have said, so we're going to go ahead and select it once we get 35 more political power. We've got the foundation for research done. Let's go and address the uranium problem. If you Like like I said, if you want to read that, please go right ahead. About a couple comments. Uh, let's see. Someone said that I should try out Red Flood France. And, oh wow, we need way more guns. Holy cow. But, um, but play as our Artoud, I think someone said. our Artoud or something like that. So, we'll see. Just gotta give me some time and I actually gotta get back into Red Floods. And, oh, okay, well, Octobe. Not bad. It's still 69, so not bad. And, uh, how much should we get? 1.15 every single day. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of things going on here, huh? Salazar's victory down there. And we could integrate more places, which I actually really, really want to do. But let's go ahead and resettle the rural populations. Come on, and there we go. All right, so lowers consumer goods, which is really good, and more construction speed. So that's what makes the five uh, five years plan really, really strong. Man, taking these guys out takes quite a while, doesn't it? Oh boy. Uh, we've lost about 200. We've lost killed about 13,000. So that's not too bad. Well, everyone east of us, not west, but this is east. Though they're still struggling. It's Novo Sibirsk. Uh, they have a lot of po population. Divine Mandate of Sabir. So you also want me to play Divine Mandate, Mandate of Sabir. I have done that before. Uh, I don't mind playing them again sometime. Just, I think I want to wait because there's so many different nations to play in Russia. The Russian Anarchy. That uh, it, It's going to take some time. So, And besides, like, places like Komi. They have like, you know, eight different paths or something like that. You go down or something like that. Which is just absolutely insane. But let's do that too. Thank you. Yeah, after peacefully unifying... With the uh, Stuslav Komi last time. I mean, this is... We grew our military force by quite a bit. But let's go and read Expand the Kirkland Mines. Because we can. Because we love infrastructure. As we let time go on. And we just produce, produce, produce. This factory will be done very soon. November 13th. Less than a week. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we should probably course some more stuff first, though. As much as I want to do this. Progress is moderate. Yeah, I'd really love to do that. But uh, how about Arkhangelsk? Because that's not too bad of a population center, right? Yeah, that's not bad. 700,000. Oh, Neg is not bad, but our Congo is definitely, definitely better. Let's take a look. Uh, we have areas down here as well that we need a core. Uh, 500,000. Oh, that's really not bad. Orenburg. Orenburg is really good at core, because look at that. That population is really nice. We have so much population. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be too difficult to take out since we have... How many infantry divisions? 78 and 8 tank divisions? Even though these guys are pretty darn weak... We're still looking very, very good. My goodness. Just my goodness. Oh, uh, it's going to integrate... Monica Orsk, maybe? Oh, we already well, well, we already have a core, which is good now, so... Whatever. And the book should be done very soon. And we shall have... Actually, I should probably go down this way, honestly. Just because, like, it helps us core stuff a little bit faster, but I don't really care. I want to do the source for materials first. And then... Research speed? Yes, please. Well, that's not that ahead of time. It's almost 1970, so. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, there was another comment, too, but I forget what I forget what it was. Oh, man, I should really write things down. Oh, boy. But we're making one division at a time. Not really a bit of a surprise there. Honestly, we could probably not even make any more divisions. Still do okay. 9.2 billion is not great. Terrorist attack in Italy. Oh, that's not good. 
Oh boy. Well, doesn't sound very good when that terrorist attack happens. But then again, usually that's the uh, terrorist attack usually aren't very good. <laughs> we'll put it like that. Cool. And then after that, we'll read the new institutions. With his new position in the government secure, Chairman Khrushchev is ready to take the first steps to reform the West Russian People's Republic. New offices and administrations will spring up like flowers under his watchful care. Their administrators and directors will be handpicked to ensure that his vision is realized. Though no large-scale reforms will be enacted yet, these new institutions will lay the groundwork for lasting political change. We shall not hold society back, for if the nation and the revolution to progress, we must have our society progress as one. No more shall minorities fear, as we are all one. Good. Actually, I'm, I'm even debating cutting this, like, cutting down military spending but then again it's 8.1 billion after we i think we ex you know expended or you know expanded the civilian budget uh and stuff like that so eh, we'll see we have some more civilian construction speed thank you keep building 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 oh look at that we'd be at what cost six billion no build 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 i'd love to do this but meh all right, the new institutions, my friends. The new institutions. Followed up with another five-year plan. How about out with the old? How about uphold progressive values? How about that? As stated by Marx and reiterated by innumerable socialist thinkers around the world, neither race, gender, nor national boundaries divide us. Rather, it is the class that divides all human. If you'd like to read about decrease in poverty, please go right ahead. In accordance to this fact, we will promote cooperation between all people in order to bring about the end of capitalism. Racism, sexism, all forms of discrimination are reactionary. We must eliminate them if we wish to bring about a communist society. Very good. And let's go ahead and keep coring everything else here. Very nice, very nice. And it says 8.38. Is that really it? Nope, 7 billion. Nice. Not bad. Progressive values, my friends. Ah, free at last. Ah, yes. Ah, this is going to do that stuff. It doesn't really matter. Vladimir's bony hands grip the warm coffee, careful not to spill the first proper drink in days. The snow no longer bit his back, protected by a new coat. The gulag's light had been turned on to welcome the chairman's visit, illuminating the night. A line of prisoners hurried towards the trucks where officers were distributing rations, a stark contrast to the other side of the camp where the old guard of the gulag was being deported. The commotion quieted down when a group of soldiers formed a circle in the main square. All talking ceased when a man announced himself to be the president of the Soviet Union. Comrade Rejoice Sitaran Kaganovich has been ousted from power. No longer shall he be forced to work in these camps, Nikita Khrushchev. So in the attention of everybody now, his voice booming throughout the fallen snow. Our new union is built upon justice, equality, freedom, not slavery in these gulags. Tomorrow, my loyal officers will escort you back to your homes. But first, eat your full, or eat your fill. The crowd cheered. Never before had Vladimir observed such happiness in the camp. As thoughts drifted to those of the home, recollecting memories long gone, hoping to see his family again. We will free Russia, my friends. Free Russia with over half a million manpower still in reserve, even though we're cutting down our uh, mobilization. Uh, establish ASSRs. The new Soviet Union we are building must not be mired down by ineffective bloated bureaucracy in order to govern the nation effectively. We will establish the autonomous Soviet Socialist Republics as along ethnic lines which will practice a form of self-government within the larger Soviet Union. The leaders of these new republics will, of course, be handpicked by Chairman Khrushchev. We shall build the state as one to make even Stalin himself proud, for he is the one who guides us. Yes. Oh. I think, if I do remember correctly, about the next, or the other comment I needed to talk about. Um, someone recommends, yeah, there's not a lot of flavor for two men in TNO right currently, so maybe in TNO 2, as uh, someone would put it, there might be more flavor, more content for us here, so, yeah. Oh, uh, I should not spend that political power for, um, uh, that one thing we just did. Coring stuff, just because this is super, super good. That's super, super important to do, but of all progressive values, establish ASSR as the new union. Comrades, when a union was founded, Lenin envisioned a society where people of all needs, colors, and genders would be free to live and prosper. The party responded with applause echoing across the main hall, but totalitarian forces corrupted this ideal. Led by Lazar, Iron Lazar, Kaganovich, and his cabal of officers, no more. Khrushchev raised his fist, from now on we will do everything in our power to reinforce the socialist dream as we speak. Prisoners are being freed from the icy gulags, and bureaucracy is undergoing cleansing. Even the powers of the far west look more favorable towards us. The party indeed changed since the coup. Some Tartars managed to obtain seats, and there was more representation for women and less NKVD officers listening to every conversation. A semblance of Soviet positivism has returned. Not unlike that of the old Union posters depicted socialist realism decorated the buildings of two men. The crimson banners rode high in the sky, and there was even the sound of childish laughter. The shadow has passed. 
It has passed indeed. Another five year plan, more manpower, slightly decrease. Oh, that'd be pretty good to do, but I think we already have the best version possible. But let's do out with the old. The world has changed. We must change with it. Comrade Kaganovich's policies, while indisputably effective, are no longer suited for this day and age. As such, Chairman Khrushchev will begin a camp campaign to root out Kag Kaganovich's influence from within the government. Officials will be purged, laws rewritten and repealed, and the damage from Kaganovich's premiership will be mended. While some may protest these measures, they are ultimately necessary if socialism is to survive these in these trying times. Absolutely. Oh, let's get better artillery, too. Don't forget artillery. That's some of the bread and butter of our military. 6.8 billion. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Out with the old, though. Good. Hey, we got more political power, too. Nice. Resettle. Yes, please. Good, good, good. And then we'll keep doing this stuff. We can close the Project Molenia for now. Awesome, awesome. And the secret speech makes us all proud. We'll do the secret speech just because I want to lock down the party so we get more political power. There's no doubt that former Chairman Kaganovich's policies and beliefs were in betrayal of Stalinism, Socialism, and the Soviet Union. Even so, dissidents and sympathizers still remain in the party. They say that we are the true revisionists and that by purging Kaganovich, we've betrayed the cause, we will prove them wrong. During the next party meeting, Chairman Khrushchev will speak to a closed audience and reveal to all the true extent of Kaganovich's crimes against the people. There, we will also reveal our agenda to help mend the damage caused by him and his disgusting little ilk. More APCs, thank you very much. Out with the old, my friends. End of the old god. A thin trail of cigar smoke descended, or ascended, into the cold morning air, broken apart by a loud cough. A line of infantrymen stared at Malinin with impatience as he finished his last smoke. The crumps of the cigar fell upon the black asphalt, only to be crushed by the man's boot. The NKVD officer, a significantly younger fellow, ordered to oversee his first execution, asked, Any last words, comrade? A phrase he often heard in the movies. Malinin sighed, straightened his cap, and in a sudden change of character... Shouted, long live Comrade Kaganovich. Ready, shouted the officer. Aim, and the soldiers aimed. You dogs are only going to ruin the Union with your reforms. Russia is built on the blood and steel. You who would release the enemies of the state who will... Fire, Malinin was interrupted by a storm of lead. His body jerked back and crumpled on the asphalt. The officer dismissed the men, but couldn't help but stare at the corpse before him. Could have been me, he reminded himself, before walking away from the past forever. We will not repeat their mistakes. No, no, no. Lock down the party, though. The Communist Party, especially in the current state, can, simply cannot be trusted to properly safeguard socialism and the proletariat. Recognizing this fact, Chairman Khrushchev has put a moratorium on the elections of the party. By doing so, he'll be able to take total control of the government. This is necessary, as he's the only man capable of defending the people against the dangers of reactionaryism. With the power that comes with total control, Khrushchev will be able to better execute Stalin's vision for a greater Russia. Truth. The truth heard. Khrushchev had spent the last month preparing a grand speech. On the rare occasion he wasn't busy, he would, be, he would scribble in his notebook, conjuring phrases and accusations against the old chairman. Finally, the secret speech was ready to be recited to the Communist Party. And when Nikita ascended the stairs to the podium, papers in hand, he, could, he couldn't help but fear for the response. What if these are still sympathizers among the party? What if the committees pushed back against reform? But the chairman went on. Comrades, here, here, I have with me a list of accusations and truths about Lazar Kaganovich. This is by no means exhaustive, but I hope that it will enlighten you as to the co covert crimes he has committed against the Union. A couple of gasps came from the assembly. Khrushchev's eyed the TV camera in the corner. Now or never, and so we recited the list, talking of secret murders, kidnappings in the night, deportations to places unheard of, secret gulags not on any map, the party and the people listened in horror. Some even had heart attacks. Some shook their heads in disappointment. Others smiled and said, I told you so, and the others hoped for, of course, a better future. I love civilian construction. Let's go with military construction next. Yes, yes, yes. And we shall make Stalin proud. Or a state to make Stalin proud. Comrade Stalin was an appreciated visionary of his time. He would have wept if he knew what history had proven, had proven him right. Chairman Khrushchev has taken Stalin's theory to heart and has applied them to great success, even in death. His words will shine as a light that will lead Russian people towards a more perfect socialism. Yes, please. And another five-year plan, shall we? The original five-year plan has reached its completion. Given its resounding success, Chairman Khrushchev has seen fit to announce a new second five-year plan. The people of Russia will work and toil in a glorious effort to continue industrialization on a greater scale than ever before and bring the country one step closer to the two in true industrial socialism. It is time to reintegrate, reintegrate the Western lands. We are all, of course, Russians here, my friends. Very good. Spend, cut. Ah, oh, 6.3 billion, not bad. And it is 70, so let's keep doing more industrial stuff. We have not done a single thing for in, for resources. Oh my goodness, what a sin. But sometimes sin we must. 
with uh, reintegrate the rest, but what never was. Gregory couldn't help but shake a little as he entered the chairman's office. Nikita Khrushchev himself, the reformer and leader of the greatest nation on earth, sat humbly before him. The room was decorated with paintings of Marx and Lenin, but the chairman was staring at a small sculpture in the corner. Gregory closed the door behind him, stare, alerting Nikita. Oh, comrade Gregory, welcome. For a moment, the young man felt as if his legs couldn't support his weight and no words left his mouth. Come sit. Khrushchev pointed to an empty chair sitting beside him and held up a glass. Ah, Gregory sat down and looked at the statue. Ah, yes. Khrushchev turned back to his bust. That's comrade Stalin, do you know of him? Gregory managed to shake his head. A pity. What a fine man he was. Could have shaped a union that never was. Nikita looked down. Hesitating, Stalin believed in a country of iron, but also a country of justice. A place where everyone had bread and a roof, free from bourgeoisie uh, decadence. He snapped back. Never mind. We still look at him to here in the party. Gregory stared at the bus, wondering if what could have been. We will do so. I'm proud, my friends. The German fascists may have destroyed Russia, but they could have never destroyed the Soviet spirit. Together, we rebuild the nation under the red banner of the Soviet Union. Nothing will stop the people on their drive to reunite the homeland. Yeah, baby. New cat. <sighs> Very good, my friends. Well, look at that manpower. I mean, Jesus. Uh, even though someone said, like, West Siberia needs more love from the, from the devs, they, and they do, them uniting with the, you know, West Russian government and having no conflict? Oh, my gosh. This is the most manpower we've had for a very, 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 very long time. I'm, we're feeling, I'm feeling overpowered right now. I really feel overpowered with this stuff. But, continue agricultural mechanization. For thousands of years, agriculture has sustained humanity and strengthened all nations of the world. In order to ensure we reap all possible benefits from agriculture, we shall fully mechanize it and educate the farmers on how to keep the soil fertile. In time, the literal fruits of our labor will show, and the bounty of food that our people can harvest and, of course, enjoy. Even though I think we're already maxed out agriculture, so... It's fine with us, though. How are we doing with this stuff? We're building, building, building. Good. Keep building. It looks like probably Nova Sibirsk is going to win, or the Central Siberian Federation, which is fine. No worries about that. And, uh, what is this? Army professionalism? Yes, please. And an end to extraneous repression. The Red Armies are sword and shield and the defender of the proletariat. It would not only be unwise, but it would be an injustice to punish them for such bravery in battle. Their army and its personnel should serve the Union out of respect and love for the chairman, not out of fear for him. To this end, we will put an end to any and all repression within the army. Good. No repression here. And we're done with this. Great. We've done all that stuff that we can. And we'll keep doing this stuff when we can as well. We have... Wow. The first five-year plan. The second five-year plan. I guess with the Social International... Oh, and also withdrew all the money from the Communist uh, Council or the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. So, and so yeah, there's only a million dollars left because, well, we needed it. So, love it. Now, let's spend the 51 first. Things are exploding, which is fine, and repudiate literacy policy. The old literature, literacy policy is contradictory to the ideals of Marx, Lenin, and Stalin. The purpose of books is to uplift the, the proletariat, rather than to keep them down. As such, K R Chairman Khrushchev will lift Kaganov Kaganovich's repression of books and other such artistic expressions. The proletarians of Russia shall become the most cultured in the world and reinspection. Exit from Order 568. Five, if you are receiving this letter, you are still operating a gulag facility populated by unchecked prisoners. Chairman Khrushchev has himself has given the order uh, to reinspect all political prisoners and to free the ones not meeting the new criteria. If your gulag does not follow through in the next month, expect a visit from NKVD units and a permanent loss of your current rank. Attaches a sheet with detailed instructions concerning inspection and proper uh, release. Signed, Nikita Khrushchev. Very good. Very good. Jolly good. Very good. And uh, commence the Khrushchev Sh China. Khrushchev China. Wow, that is a long word, but let's do this at first. Uh, more factory output, even though... Yeah, we still need more factory output, so... Russia has progressed far beyond its image of poverty and backwardness. Factories hum with the sound of machinery, and as men and women work together to, as one to better Russia. Tractors make their rounds in the fields of wheat to be sent to the cities to make bread for the workers. Yep, Russia's culture remains firmly entrenched in feudalist reactionaryism. As such a way, the cultural reforms will be enacted by Chairman Khrushchev in order to rectify this issue. The vestiges of the old world must be eliminated for truly social society to take hold, which would be a great thing. But revolutionary literature. In accordance with the new policies, the newly formed or reformed committee... Oh, we can invest in size. Revolutionary literature will be tasked with overseeing the filtration of library contents. Under Lazar Kaganovich, many texts which are somewhere apolitical were banned for anti-party thought. Russian literature, history books, and certain foreign novels have been burned, possession of which was punishable with a trip to the gulag. The committee will meticulously oversee the reintegration of literature into society, aided by recently freed intellectuals. Additionally, foreign imports will also need to be looked at. While our younger born country lacks sufficient engineers and professors, we can rely on American texts to reach the next generation. Naturally, all books will be edited 
limited in accordance of Marxist Leninist theory, but we will also need to set up our own printing facilities. No more bannings, just heavily mm -mm, manicured texts. Heavily manicured, that's what we'll say, yes, heavily manicured. Wow, look at our chili, almost ten, roughly 10 a day, not bad, but shining in glory, my friends. Russia has risen from the ashes as a beacon of socialism amongst a world of exploitation and tyranny. Our resurgence will not end here, for we march to liberate the workers of the world. We have defeated the fascist Germans with even less than what we have now. With the resources of today, we are a world power, and unlike the others, we will use our status to advance the global proletarian cause. Don't mind us that we withdrew all the money that they had in the uh, cause there, but you know what? Whatever. We're currently 6.09. Not bad. Could be better. Wow, uh, let's go and do all this stuff. Uh, is there anything that will help us with more research? Nope. All right, just spend all of it then. Spend, spend, spend. Oh, we should have spent some money. Reset our rural populations would have been actually probably pretty good to do. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Finally, look at the pop factories. 307, not enough. Not enough, my friends. Uh, the first five-year plan is coming to an end. Our current agricultural strain somehow is 14.756 for some reason. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Like... Agricultural strain is reduced by 10. We cho chose one to encourage ag agricultural mechanization like three or four times. So why is it only 10 now? It makes no sense. But the USSR, forever, my friends. Spend cut. The new Soviet era, or new Soviet Union, is a stark contrast to the one under Bukharin. While anti-revolutionary elements continue to complain about the lack of liberties and socialism, we look to the bright future. The dictator Kaganovich is long gone. Our vision of Stalinism is untainted by the perversions of the old god. Equality is improving considerably, as is the effectiveness of the five-year plans. Gulag facilities have closed down or greatly limited their inhabitants. A spirit of free will and hope now flies throughout Siberia. We've rekindled into a flame that has not burned for decades. Let fly the crimson banner, my friends. And resettle them again. Please, always resettle them. That is the only thing that you should do with that plan. Pretty much. Unless your industry is so small that you have to get, like, consumer goods factories to make one. So, not bad. It's 1870. Soon enough, we will be able to go to war. And maybe have the nuclear program. Probably not, but that's okay. All right, so we actually get to the focus tree. Oh, and the first five year plan is done. Do we have an event for that? Oh, the current agricultural strain is 48. We, how do we, wait, what, failed? What do you mean we failed? Oh, uh, well, whatever. 6.15, oh, look at that, not nearly enough. Keep building, building, building. Build, build, build. That's not bad for GDP. 121 billion. Now, once we have... Oh, oh, they actually unified over here. I kind of figured they would. Uh, establish close facilities. Not bad for them. Uh, that's not nearly as much manpower. But then again, they probably have uh, no cores over this territory as well right now. It's almost... Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, they're pretty fast about coring stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so that's our, that's our final manpower number. Uh, it's not good for them compared to us. We have about triple their factories. They have 45 divisions, which I'm going to assume that they're going to have 70 divisions by the time we go to war with them. So, not bad. And almost 1971. Let's grab some of this too. Yes. Anyone else need upgrades? Tanks are... Oh, boy, those tanks are not looking good. Uh, stop training for now. We need way more tanks. Once artillery is done... Uh, is artillery done? Oh, artillery is barely done. Let's make some more tanks. We definitely, 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 definitely need more tanks. Go cut it down to 10. Yeah, do that for now. Plane-wise, you can cut that down probably as well. Go down to 20. There you go. It's not bad. Gun-wise, we need a few more, but we're, I think, doing okay on guns anyway. So, anything else here? Not really. And it's almost December. Let's get some more planes, shall we? Let's go and duplicate that and throw them. Uh, I said duplicate, not just hand them over. There you go. Go back. Deploying and deploying. Nice. Duplicate again. You and you. Good. And pause it real quick. Oh, auto saving or something like that. Deploying and deploying. There you go. So at least every army has some sort of fighter wings and stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, so no security minister under Nikita Khrushchev. Which is not a good thing, but whatever. All right, so more five-year plan, anybody? No? Oh, oh, well, well, maybe we can't do that. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's go, let's, oh, we're gonna get resources, huh? Uh, we're done with this stuff then, nice. Radar, I guess?
Well then, it's almost time. I wonder if we can, I thought we can peacefully reunify, so we can try it. If you'd like to be about better army professionalism, please go right ahead. Nice. Cool. Oh, nope, they do not want to do that. So, let's go and prepare, and, wow, we have 120 command power. That's not bad. A grand showdown. A final complex. Very good. Doesn't really matter. Just choose all these. And let's choose the next one, too. Yeah, we're really pretty much ready to go for war immediately. 349 million? Or, 349 million. 349, 350 factories. Not bad. Keep going, 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 going. 4.2 billion, yeah. Okay, so that one modifier, that one for this is just really strong. Ridiculously strong. And let's see what happens when we get enough command power for this, too. Ah, military austerity. Oh, we had research done, too. My apologies. My cat in my room is just, like, going crazy with everything in here, so... I don't really want to pause the game and do it at the same time, so... My cat's going crazy. Uh, we're almost done. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 at a time. Nice. Does Nova Sibirsk really want a war? I mean... They have up to 46 divisions. Like, they're not going to win. More resource efficiency game. We have enough resources except for rubber. Um, synthetic rubber for refineries. We don't... Wow, look at the infrastructure here. Holy crud. Go with three. And keep building up more civvies. I would love to be able to uh, finish this one, but I don't think we'll be able to. It takes so long to get that one done. Is there anything else we can throw in our divisions? We only have four... Three different types of divisions. Um, we don't definitely. Oh, we have a million manpower. Holy! How do we get a million? Effective total manpower modified 147 percent, huh? Even with military auster, austerity. Holy crud! We have minority protections, no draft exemptions, combat roles, army reserve training. What's army reserve training? Oh, artillery is not looking too bad. Main battle tanks are looking really bad, so we can't throw that on there. How about support equipment? That's not bad. We can throw this on there first, probably. Yeah, that's going fine. How are the tanks looking? Better radar. Uh, that stuff is okay. Don't hurt their armor on their tanks. If you really want to, you can build some radar down there. And maybe build like one, two, something like that. Just so that we're ready to go. Jesus, that's so much. Um, if you guys need to train some more, it's fine. Yeah, we need way more tanks. Holy crud. Uh, but we're currently making how many a day? Two. Really? Two? Is that it? That really sucks. We have 20 factories, and we can only make two a day. Then again, our efficiency isn't where it could be. Yeah, we're really not where we need to, really need to be. Wow. Oh, boy. Two a day sucks. Strike Siberia? Do I want to strike them? Do, they, do I want them to strike us? Actually, you know what? We can cut down one of these. Uh, get rid of these two divisions. It just... We can spread those tanks that we currently have and need less tanks to make sure these guys are stronger. Uh, get rid of one more. So instead of minus 700, we improved it by like 200 some, so not bad. Uh, more armor. Oh, oh, we can do that one. Good. Just go and spend more money. Another division. Nice. That's okay, so I'll cut one more off then. Don't worry about this. The last war, if you like to build that, please go right ahead. I think we'll win pretty handily here. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So. I mean, they have up to 50 divisions max. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we'll do okay. Now, I wonder if they go to war with us. This is really disappointing that the, the next five-year plan, we can't do any more things to, like, boost ourselves up, but whatever. I mean, if they don't declare war by May 1st, then I'll select that button for us to go to war with them. Come on, 3.8 billion. Not bad. Tons of GDP, though. Not enough, though. All right. Let's go and select it. And as soon as I select it, they'll probably want to go to war with us. Come on. Oh. What's going on? Oh, Iran's falling apart. That's fine. Iranian civil war. How thick are they motorized? Come on. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, they might be 20 combat width. Maybe. They could be. Oh, this infantry division is probably 40 combat width. Yeah, it's probably 40 combat width. They got a lot of stuff on them. That's fine. Nah, I'd get that right. Oh, okay. They go to war with us. Well, I'm not super worried. Uh, we, wow, we've already killed off 19,000 of them. Let's grab some more resource efficiency gain because we can. Well, 
We're not having too many battles, honestly. Oh, we're losing there just a little bit. 25,000, better radar, I suppose. Um, we can get even better radar, I guess. Or better artillery. Can we do that one yet? No, we can't. That sucks. Uh, better guns, I guess. A little bit behind times, but that's alright. So, oh, so the budget boost. Uh, spend? We're not going to cut down here yet. Ah, it looks good anyways, why not? I just want to watch the casualties go up. 63 divisions max. Um, we're struggling there, huh? We lost 2,000. We have 88 divisions in total. Oh, we lost that battle. 2,000 versus 41,000, 42,000, 45, 47, 52. Yeah, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not really worried about this war. Then again, maybe I should give these guys orders. There you go. Hmm, you're, winning, you're losing up there. 64, 6, 7, 68, 69. Nice. Ooh, okay. I'm waiting to see just like divisions just die there. Almost 100,000 losses. My goodness. And look at that GDP. 150 billion. Nice. Oh, we are struggling here. That's not good. There you go. That's what you want to do. Almost 200,000 losses. And I'll go with this one. Why not? More armor. 13,000, I mean, my goodness. Yeah, they have up to 56 divisions. We've killed at least maybe seven, maybe. So, not bad. Can we make it half a million casualties before they give up? Now they've hit a quarter million. They have up to 40 divisions. They have just a little bit more manpower left. And stockpile-wise, let's take a look. Zero. Oh, they are not looking good. They're out of artillery. They're out of infantry equipment. Yeah, they're done. And they're out of manpower. 365,000 dead. Third of a million dead. Versus 17,000. Jeez Louise. Krasnodar, that's going to be nice. Come on. Just keep killing them. Keep killing them. Look at all the bloodshed that Nova Sibirsk, or the leaders of the Siberian Federation, has caused. Half a dead million Siberians. Was it worth it? Probably not. But this is really easy, this last stage. Yeah, if you peacefully reunify with people, who knew it would be so easy? Alright, over half a million. We got it. I doubt we can get to a million, but it'll be really cool. I don't think that that many divisions left in the field, or that much manpower in the field left for us to do that. Or We're just hovering right below. I guess we're levitating right below, or something like that. A million manpower. Even after we cut our budget. Yeah, 40 combo with infantry is really nice. Uh, oh, better infantry weapons. Cool. More, thirty percent more land out attack. That'd be really good. Cool. Come on, one hundred ninety billion. Not bad. Yeah, some of these guys have gotten really injured, especially the tanks. But that makes sense. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, look at that. That's so sad. I could do stuff with the military factories, but I don't really care too much anymore. Yeah, I'll do them anyways. Why not? Uh, tanks. Who's up by another five or ten, whatever. Uh, let's make a more of this stuff. Yes, please. More civvies. More GDP. Nice. That should keep us satiated sati for a while. 7.5 billion. Oh, because we have, it's been, you know, because we're spending and stuff like that. Are we any closer? 600,000. We're not getting that much further ahead now. Killing them off, but that's all right. What are they going to uh, kind of collapse? That's my question. Because they're not looking too good. They've lost a lot of, thou a lot of, a lot of men. Can you just go in and beat them up? Just beat them up. Infantry expert is pretty good. Any upgrades for our generals? No? Ah, oh, there we go. I like that one. And for you... Oh, you're not offensive? Yeah, you need that one. Unyielding Defender. Uh, that doesn't really matter at this point anymore. Can we hit 700,000? That'd be really nice. Please, please, please. Sibling budget boost. Keep spending so we can make more, 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 Uh, only 650,000. 
Yep, just keep beating him up. Oh, let's get some more rubber. That'd be good. Is it still 8 billion? Eh, slightly better, slightly better. <sighs> Come on, guys. Almost two-thirds of a million. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Has Maga down the capital? No. Where's the capital? Is it, uh, it was a Kuzk for a little bit there. Seriously. Oh, there it is. Blagoveshenk. Blagoveshenk. All right. And, come on. Oh, they're super close. 99, 100% of the way there. They lost roughly 700,000 versus 32,000. That's not bad, my friends. And before we do anything, let's pause the game. Well, I guess it's auto-saving first. Let's stop the music. And, a new union. Stalin's vision of Russia's lives on. Look at that. Cool. Dream of a people. And uh, let's double check this this part. Regional integration, reunification. And we can spend all the people we just got. And we can core everything. In which we'll be losing about no political power every day. But that's going to be it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. To you, men, it's kind of short. It could, like you guys said, it could use a little bit more flavor. It could use a little bit more love. But I do want to play this again sometime. Instead of with Krusha, but continue with Mario or Iron Lazar, Mario Kaganovich. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous rest of your day.